Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I will tell you two important things. The first one being that I have been granted promotion on board a ship. So I will share my experience, how I reached from a cadet to a third engineer now. And secondly, I will talk about something really, really special. That is the difference in the applets of the deck officers and the marine engineers. If you want to know more, stay tuned and keep watching. We'll start right now. So let's take my journey for the first step. In 2016, I joined my first ship as a cadet. I did my training from Tolani Maritime Institute in Marine Engineering for four years. And 2016 was that great year in which I joined shipping. And once I went as a cadet, things were not so good. As a cadet, you are not aware of everything that is going around in the ship. You are trying to learn from the engineers and I remember I was running behind, you know, fourth engineer, then third engineer, second engineer. I was just running around all of them to know if I could learn a little bit from them. There were obviously funs and pranks which happened with me. And if you want to see that, you can check the link, uh, the card appearing on the screen right now. So I did two ships as a cadet with a total sea time of 12 months. After 12 months, I was allowed to give the examination held by the government of India, DG Shipping. And it was MEO class 4 exams. And in 2018, I appeared for my class 4 exam. And it took me two attempts to clear the examination with flying colors. After clearing my examination, I was licensed to go as a marine engineer on board a ship. So in 2018, I joined my first ship as a fourth engineer. It was a new ship taken from the Hamburg suit that Merce just acquired and it was a phenomenal experience. I learned a lot and you know, the seniors also helped me in learning a lot. And they were obviously pushing me to learn a little bit more, gain a little bit more practical skills, but that is the necessity of a job. So between 2018 and 2021, I did three ships as a fourth engineer and I learned a lot. I gained a lot of practical skills, knowledge skills and I will tell you one very uh, important fact that is usually not told by anyone. Many people will tell you that okay, when I was a cadet, I only learned from engineers or only I took guidance from second engineer or chief engineer. But for me, in my case, I took a lot of guidance from the fitter and the motorman. Yes. They are the crew of the ship and they have been working on board a ship for a major part of their lives. They have spent around 15 to 20 years on board a ship and they have vast variety of experience while overhauling any machinery. When you are an engineer on board, you can learn the knowledge skills and the practical skills from your own. But it is always advisable to gain a lot of knowledge from the manuals present on board. The manuals are so designed that you gain the necessary knowledgeable experience and know everything about a machinery that you will be working upon. So guys, manuals are your first friends on board a ship. And also remember to trace the line diagrams on a ship. So this is how three years of my experience as a fourth engineer passed by between 2018 and 2021. On this contract, I will be joining as a third engineer taking up higher responsibilities of auxiliary generators and other necessary equipments on board a ship. Although the difference between fourth engineer and third engineer is not very very vast, but yes, there are additional responsibilities that one has to bear while taking up the new rank. So that was my experience about how I joined as a cadet, some important facts regarding the machineries and being a good marine engineer and how I got promoted to a third engineer. For being promoted to a third engineer, you don't need to give any examination. The class 4 examination that you gave earlier in DG Shipping will be used for this promotion. And based on the appraisals that you receive after completing your contracts as fourth engineer, the chief engineer will give you some remarks. He will prepare a detailed report about you, how you have been working, how have you have been performing, how you have been overhauling machinery and preventing the breakdowns of the machinery. And in all those cases, he will give you points. After calculating all the points, he will decide whether you are capable of going to the next rank or not. If you get continuous good appraisals and recommendations by the chief engineer, you might become a third engineer very, very soon. And usually it takes three to four to five ships to become a third engineer starting from a fourth engineer. 
So that was my experience about how I started as a cadet and reached to third engineer till now. The second important thing that we will talk about are the story about the applets. What is so special and how do you differentiate people who are deck officers and engineers on board a ship? Because as we all know that some ranks coincide between the deck and the engine. For example, a fourth engineer is equivalent to a rank of third officer on deck department. Similarly, a second officer in the deck department is equivalent to rank to a third engineer in the engine department. Similar is the case with the top four on board a ship. So how do we differentiate between the applets and how do you find out if you want to see if they are deck officers or engineers? So the main thing that I will tell you today is that if you want to distinguish between a person who is a deck officer or he is an engineer, then you need to look upon the applets present on his shoulder. If the applets have a purple line in between the stripes, it means that they are from the engine department. And if there is no purple stripe in the applets, it means that they are from the deck department. However, both departments are extremely, extremely important for the proper running of the ship. But this is how you can differentiate whether a person is from the deck or from the engine side of the ship. So a common rumor goes around in the ship that in the applets, the purple lines is given by the King George when the RMS Titanic ship, the famous Titanic ship sink and none of the engineers survived the ship. And to honor the engineers on that occasion, this purple stripe is given to the engineers. However, there is no strong evidence that supports this clause. This is, I can just say, this is kind of a, of a story that is built around and there are a lot of speculations. So if anybody tells you to believe in these facts, just ask him to give a strong point to prove it. Why this purple line is integrated in the engineer side is just to differentiate between the engineers and the deck officers. For example, if somebody wants to contact the deck officer and there are two people with the same applets and the same boiler suit, it becomes quite difficult to determine who is the deck officer and who is the engineer. Usually they also have this name stripe which tells about their rank, whether they are the deck officer. So they will have third officer, second officer, chief officer with a badge printed on their boiler suits. But sometimes if it is not there, now you know a trick, how to find out whether the person is a marine engineer or he is a deck officer. So guys, that is all for this video. I hope you like this facts and if you want to know a little bit more, you can like this video and subscribe to it. I will keep on bringing more and more content for you related to shipping and other sectors of life. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good day and bye bye.